Okay, third video in this series, and I've troubleshot the heater problem. It is now heating very well. Wow, that does not come out at all. Okay, and uh, but you can see it here, maybe. There it goes. So I've set it to 175, and it is slowly warming up. It's at 106 right now. But the problem was right here, the pin. What I have here is a the opposite a male pin for like a D sub connector kind of crimped down and then put on the pins on the inside and then the female pin like this is in inserted that is actually mounted to this wire here so it's kind of like a, a rickety connector pin thing so again all this is to preserve my maker gear hot end so I can put it right back on my mosaic when I get a proper pot hot end to put on this but take a moment here while that's warming up and I just want to show you what I've been working on while my machine was down and I've added these two D sub connectors the pins in the proper place uh, and it's actually mounted on the effector so it's out of the way during the print which has happened it just slowed down a lot the fan it's terrifying when your machine makes different sounds than you expect hopefully it just means that it is not overheating anymore so I think the fan changes with the need of the machine so as it slows down the need to keep heating it actually doesn't need to as much. Okay, so it's reached the target temperature and I've done all this so I can make sure my extruder moves the right direction. And let's see if we can get in here nice and tight. I'm gonna extrude five millimeters and it is going backwards. So all that means is that my extruder needs to be flipped around the other way. And yeah, I hit it the right direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this off. Un, uh, disconnect from the software, unplug the USB, the light goes out down here, so everything's off, go ahead and pull this up. So this extruder is this one right here, go ahead and pull that, flip it around, and we're in business. And I've actually printed these bed mounts. So but I think I'm going to make a different version with funnels on the bottom so we don't have to keep messing with them. So they just funnel themselves right into the right spot. Okay. So now that this is kind of warm, I'm going to pull this out. If I can, it's going to be a little sticky. Okay, got it. So Now, while... Well, I'm gonna warm this back up, power back on, no fire, that's good. USB, connect, connected. I'm gonna Z that out, home. All right, I'm gonna set the temperature to 175. Let's set the bed 175, the bed's on. And this is the way I feed my filament right now. I have a uh, maker, gear spool up there and I run it down the pegboard through this pegboard holders so I thought that was a really, really cool way of actually keeping the filament on there I'm sure there's better ways out there feed this through real quick and Bowden tubes are not that bad once you get used to them what you definitely need with a Bowden tube is a like a, a dry, uh, drill bit that's slightly bigger than your filament, like maybe half a millimeter, 0.25 bigger than your millimeter, uh, than your filament size, just so you can uh, drill at the end right there where it kind of squishes down into the machine. And I'm at 173 down here. So this should, there it goes. Should I just push out a little filament right there? There we go. And this is let me know it's flowing very nicely. Now just put the Bowden tube in as far as down as it'll go and now we're in business so <clears throat> the way that the, Co the blue eagle labs company the people that built this cost so clear did is a an extruder drive here that pushes the filament actually applies the pressure by uh, that so that is on there it's not the right size okay so let's see if we can push some real filament. It's gonna bring this up to 200. 
just for uh, make sure it's nice and a good little flow going okay let's go ahead and push some film in if you're still with me thank you so much if you're still with me you must really like 3d printers i'm sending this to 10 millimeters it's at 184 right now i should be able to extrude some filament if anything um if it's not hot enough the filament drive will actually back off it'll actually like spring forward and then pull it back so pushing filament now it's 10 millimeters there it goes, it's coming out. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Okay, so let's set. After, even after blowing a PSU, uh, waiting a few days for, for Amazon to deliver a new one and spend some time rewiring, everything's back to normal. Just now to do the calibration part. See ya.